What's going on chaps and chapettes, and in this video I will show you how to set up your Dazzle with a console that uses RCA cables. This guide will work with any previous gen console like the PS2 or GameCube. So let's get started. Just so there's no confusion, here is the box that my Dazzle came with. And as you can see it says Dazzle DVD Recorder HD. Here is how the Dazzle looks like out of the box. It's black with a white asterisk symbol. The front of the Dazzle has your standard yellow, red, white, and S video ports. You will need male to male RCA video cords. I'm using S video for this demo, but regular RCA will work. You will need three RCA Y plug adapters. They're basically signal splitters. If you are wondering where I got mine, I bought this from Best Buy. They cost $4.99 a piece. You probably could get them at Amazon for cheaper. Simply plug your RCA splitters in the yellow, red, and white ports of your Dazzle. After you plug in all three splitters, your Dazzle should look like this. Now from the console, you will plug the yellow, red, and white cords in each of your Y splitters. It doesn't matter which one of the two you plug it into, just make sure you plug into the right color for each port. If you purchased RCA cables with S-Video, before plugging it in, be mindful of the square peg in the connector. Be sure to line up that peg perfectly with the hole in your Dazzle. If you are afraid of damaging your Dazzle by plugging it in wrong, the top of the cord should have an arrow to make sure that you are plugging it in correctly. Now with the remaining ports of your Y adapters, you will plug in the yellow, red, and white cords from your 3-way RCA cables. The other end of your RCA cables will plug into the back of your HDTV. Again, if you have S-Video cords, the same steps apply, but you're also plugging into the S-Video port shown here. Just in case you are not getting any audio, try plugging in your red and white cords into the output audio port or the S-Video audio input till you find the right ports that will give you sound. And that's it. Load your favorite game in, hit the power button, and let's move on to setting up the Dazzle with OBS Studio. Hey everyone, here's the OBS Studio setup portion of the guide. First, click OBS Studio and launch the app. As you can see here, I have the game running, Blue Stinger, for the Dreamcast. Just to show you what sources to select, I'm going to create a totally new scene. To do that, click on the plus symbol on the bottom left, and type in a name for your scene. I'll call this scene... Test. As you can see in this new scene, there are no sources. To add one, click the plus symbol and select Video Capture Device. A new window will pop up and name it. I'll call this source Dazzle2 and then hit OK. A new window will appear and under the device tab you should see your Dazzle in the list. OBS will automatically select it. If you are not seeing a signal, you can click deactivate and reactivate. This usually resolves signal issues. Click OK to finish setting up your Dazzle. Next we will create another source. Choose Audio Input Capture. This source will tell OBS to talk to your Dazzle and allow sound. Just like all sources, you will give it a name. Be sure to select your Dazzle in the device panel and then click OK. The video signal isn't showing here because I have a source running already, but if you follow these steps, and you should be fine. And that's it, it's that simple. Hopefully this guide will help you set up your new Dazzle with OBS so you can record all your games and share it with the world. If you liked this video and you found that it was helpful, please hit me with a thumbs up and uh, hit that subscribe button too while you're at it. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time. Later.